talked about joint rotation, we've talked about muscular relaxation and transfer of body mass. But because you have multiple joints, Silum Tau, by aligning the spine properly, allows you to activate uh, your mind in such a way that you're able to freely rotate the joints and relax the muscles in the, any direction you desire independently. And this is important because you can use what we call multi-directional force by simply rotating the shoulder in one direction and even opening it, rotating the wrist, rotating the elbow, but also sinking the body weight. So you can make the person suffer, if I can call it that, five to six different vectors of force and force his body to undergo a lot of stress unnecessarily. So this one. <laughs> so you can see that's not a comfortable experience and I'm actually not hitting Anthony hard at all. I'm trying to be gentle because it's quite disruptive, quite unpleasant. But by simply being able to relax and being able to rotate any way I want, I can actually affect this structure. What do you feel? Can you talk to the people and let us know? How many do you feel twisted in more than one direction? Yeah, it's, it's, I feel just totally vulnerable. I have no idea what's going to be happening. I can't even control it or counter it. And this is an important point as well. If you actually relax properly, people can't discern the source of your force and more so the direction of your force. So they can't actually apply force against you. If you can actually relax your muscles and relax your joints, even if people are trying to counter, it's like a two-way street. The force just passes through the joint and the muscle and you're able to dis dispose of them freely. I'm actually going to relax down a little bit when I do this turning and I'm going to uh, make Anthony feel it in his legs. Uh, at least I'm assuming you're feeling it in your legs. You're feeling it in your yeah, legs? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm not trying to force because now Anthony can push me up. But what I'm doing is I'm just relaxing and just upsetting him. <laughs> and you can see these whole bodies just twisting and turning. And this makes it very difficult for a person who's using their eyesight to judge how you're going to attack them to actually uh, dissipate the incoming force. Despite the fact you can tell, I hope, at least I think you can tell, that I haven't put any tension in my arm. My arms tend to be very relaxed, very floppy. So even relaxed, I can open him up. If he's coming in to attack me hard, by simply relaxing, I can upset him. I don't, I'm being very gentle. I don't have to tense up. I just simply relax and just throw him away. Just throw him away. I'm going to use my structure again, and I'm going to direct my force into Anthony's legs, even though I'm using my arm to contact his arm. So I'm simply going to relax and break his structure, forcing him to carry my weight past this point and attacking the tension in his joints. The important thing here is that by being able to relax properly, being able to set up your structure and more importantly maintain it while someone is trying to apply force against you is it permits you to understand the direction of the incoming force. When people are fighting you, you generally only have the ability to roughly know the vicinity of the incoming arm or the incoming leg. It might even be somebody's head. So what you want to be able to do is place your limb, any limb can be any part of the limb, in the direction of the force, intercepting and occupying the person's centre, but still able to freely rotate and transfer your body mass. This is what Silam Tau is trying to facilitate. It's teaching you to have a delivery system that delivers the package, your entire body mass, effortlessly, extremely quickly, and with no capacity for this individual to be able to counter or tell how it's moving. You're able to freely change direction in response to a very dynamic and fluid environment, and that's why it was designed for fighting. So the whole idea here is to relax, set Silum Tau up as your immediate response. Even when you are moving, you are still Silum Tau. Nothing changes. You literally just walk. Nothing changes. And it's, it's designed for fighting, and Wing Chun has a theory of force, 
and it has a theory of finding. Silum Tau is designed to perfect your understanding, or at least initiate you into the understanding of a theory of force, understanding how force affects your body, understanding how you're able to use your body to deliver force. And then you use that understanding to deliver it irrespective of how a person attacks you, their type of attack, their weight, um, how they're applying force, and you're able to just freely respond in a dynamic manner. And that's essentially what Wing Chun's about and why Silum Tao is extremely important. And if you focus on doing Silum Tao properly, you will find that you can develop very efficient force quite quickly. And that means that if something is effective, you can make your movement simple. And if it's simple, means that you need to spend less time dealing with incoming force and you don't have to set anything up. Just a single thought. In fact, Silum Tau means a small idea. And a lot of people, my own personal belief, I'm not saying they are wrong, but I believe the small idea isn't meaning that it's just a core idea. I believe that it's a tiny spark that triggers the entire winch mechanism. So that single desire, the concept of lap nim, a way of thinking is what Silum Tau is about. And so by practicing Silum Tau, you develop a way of thinking that sets your body up to deal with force in any direction and of any magnitude. And that's where I'll leave it. And I hope that you will take those points and endeavour to perfect your Silum Tau and in so doing, enrich your Wing Chun experience.